Hello, this is Henry and welcome to Graphics, Gears, and Wires. In this first part of our CorelDRAW Tools of the Trade series, we'll be talking about the Pick Tool. This video is intended for the beginner, but as always in this series, we'll be trying to share some tips and shortcuts that should help even the seasoned professional. First, let's look at the icon. Notice the small flyout arrow in the lower right corner. This indicates there are other tools nested here. This flyout contains a Pick Tool, a Freehand Pick Tool, and a Free Transform Tool. We will talk about the other two in a moment, but first let's take a look at the Pick Tool. The CorelDRAW logo here is made up of six curves and four text objects. To select an object with the Pick Tool, simply click the object. This will reveal the bounding box illustrated by eight control handles and a center point. You can move the object by clicking and dragging it. You can also move it by clicking and dragging the center point. You can resize objects by clicking and dragging the control handles. The side handles resize the object horizontally, and the top and bottom handles resize it vertically. The corner handles resize the object proportionally. Holding Shift will resize the object while keeping its center point stationary. Holding Alt will allow you to transform the object freely. Clicking an already selected object switches the object to rotation and skew mode. The corner handles here allow you to rotate the object while the side, top, and bottom handles are for skewing the object. In rotation mode, you can move the center point. This enables you to rotate the object around any arbitrary point in the workspace. You can change selection by clicking another object. You can also use the tab key to cycle through all objects in the workspace. Shift tab will cycle through all objects in reverse order. Objects in CorelDRAW are often layered on top of each other. The gray box here is behind the white curve objects of the logo. You can use the Pick tool to select objects that are behind others by holding the Alt key and clicking the foreground object. You can select multiple objects by holding the Shift key and clicking them. You can also drag around objects to select them. Another trick to select many objects is to hold Alt and drag through them. This will select all objects you touch regardless of if they are on top of or behind something else. CorelDRAW has a lot of powerful time-saving shortcuts. One of these is selection groups. You can assign objects to the numbers 0 through 9 on your keyboard. To do this, simply click the objects, then press Ctrl plus the number. So if we click the green basket and press Ctrl plus 1, then click the white balloon and press Ctrl plus 2. We can reselect these objects by pressing the 1 and 2 keys respectively. To reassign a selection group, simply select the new object and press Ctrl plus the number again. Let's quickly look back at the Pick Tool flyout. The second icon allows you to draw irregular selection marquees around objects to select them. Next is the Free Transform tool. This tool allows you to freely resize objects, similarly to holding Alt when sizing with the Pick Tool. Another important shortcut for the Pick Tool is the spacebar. When using any other tool, pressing the spacebar will toggle between that tool and the Pick Tool. This is extremely helpful because the Pick Tool is the most frequently used tool in CorelDRAW X8. That's about it for the Pick Tool. We'll be showing some more features of this tool when we talk about grouping and combining objects in a later lesson. Thank you for watching. If you feel like you learned something, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We want to hear from you. Send us an email to info at graphicsgearsandwires.com or leave your feedback in the comments.